This is the substance that killed a generation of women, not through accident, but careful, precise work, each dose of luminous compound containing one of the most radioactive elements on the planet. This is the story of the Radium Girls. Welcome to a series that I'm calling Scientifically Interesting Ways to Die, and fair warning, this one is kind of gruesome. In the early 1920s, radium was the wonder element of the age. Scientists had only recently discovered its eerie green glow and mysterious warming properties. Radium was added to everything from toothpaste to chocolate, marketed as a health tonic. In factories across America, young women were hired to paint watch dials with radium paint, creating timepieces that glowed in the dark, perfect for soldiers in the trenches of World War I. They were taught a technique called lip pointing, using their lips to shape the brushes into a fine point after each stroke, each time ingesting a small amount of radium paint. Their employers assured them that it was perfectly safe, in fact it would improve their complexion. Their employers were wrong. Radium has a half-life of 1,600 years. When ingested, because it has two free valence electrons, just like calcium, the body mistakes it for calcium and deposits it directly into the skeleton. Once there, it continuously bombards the surrounding surrounding tissue with a shower of alpha radiation, crashing through the DNA of nearby cells and irradiating the body from the inside out. Workers complained of aching jaws, a sore tooth, or general discomfort in the mouth, as teeth began to loosen from the jawbone, then fall out entirely. Where missing teeth left some bone visible, some doctors described the jaw as looking like it had been eaten by moths, like a crumbling patchwork of bones, and as the symptoms intensified during examination, portions of the jawbone would come away without surgical tools, literally crumbling in a doctor's hand, a phenomenon that became known as radium jaw. Their bones became so fragile that walking could cause spontaneous fractures, their femurs snapping under their own weight. There are even reports that the glow of some women's skeletons were visible through their skin from the radium embedded in their bones. Perhaps most cruelly, many of these women were pregnant when symptoms began appearing, the radium crossing the placental barrier, causing miscarriages, stillbirths, and infants born with severe deformities. An estimated 4,000 women were employed across the United States as dial painters during the height of the radium industry, and of those, several hundred are known to have suffered these severe health complications, with thousands living with the long-term effects of radium use. When these women sought out help, the companies launched massive campaigns to discredit them. Medical records were falsified, death certificates were altered to list syphilis as a cause of death, an attempt to blame the women's loose morals rather than workplace poisoning. This tragedy sparked landmark legal battles that fundamentally changed US labor laws and reformed occupational safety standards. The Radium Girl story standing as an important reminder that glowing feedback at work should never be literal. If you like science that proves that some corporate jobs really do work you to death, follow for more.